This is a Game Caviar production. All right, now having in Game Caviar Studios, I downloaded the brand new NBA 2K13 demo off Xbox Live. Uh, I guess if you're part of Xbox Live Gold, it's available. So um, for all of you who haven't downloaded it and are waiting to play this game, I would download it immediately. Now, this is the new control stick that they have. It controls all of your wicked moves, your crossovers, your fadeaways, and any other sick stuff that you could come up with while playing the game. You can also use it to uh, shoot the ball in conjunction with the left trigger button, as it said, on the screen. They only let you play as two teams, and you only get to play as one quarter. Now, to no one's surprise, you get to play as the Miami Heat and the Oklahoma City Thunder, the two teams that were in the NBA Finals and played for the championship. Of course, Miami won. Uh, like I said, you only get to play one quarter, and it's like a three-minute quarter or something. So a lot of the times I, I didn't um, skip anything because I want you guys to see the game as it is, the demo. And, of course, they show LeBron James throwing his uh, baby powder up in the air as he does in every pregame. I'm about to get started right now. Some of the things that I noticed about this demo is the controls are kind of sluggish. And I'm not a 2K player. I haven't played 2K in a couple years. So maybe it's just uh, I need to get used to it. Or maybe it's just different in this game. Uh, some of you guys who have played this game on the regular, uh, feel free to let me know if that's normal or not. Or if you played the demo and have experienced the same thing, let me know. This is a uh, offline game. You can play online, but it's essentially the same thing, except you're playing against another person, uh, supposedly. I don't know. I played online, and it's it. like I said, it's just the same thing. You just play one quarter, same two teams, same everything. I believe you always play as the Miami Heat. I always have. Maybe online you get to play as, a, uh, as the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, I hope so. I would like to play as the Thunder. I wish they had given you the option of picking your team, but of course they didn't. Or if you know how to, I haven't figured it out, but uh, I don't know. I also haven't figured out how to change the defense, you know, the uh, half-court press, full-court press, or the uh, the intensity of the defense. I haven't figured out how to do that. Uh, probably if, you, if you're used to playing 2K, NBA 2K games, you would know right off the bat, this is what I need to press. Me, just playing this game, casually thinking about buying this new one i don't know how to do it but i'm sure you can easily learn how to do that that's not going to be a problem and uh the game just keeps going uh on and on you know uh, coming back this year supposedly is uh they're also supposed to be coming up with nba live but it's only going to be download only a few videos have leaked of that game of course ea sports does nba live and they hadn't done it in the past couple seasons because they were getting stomped by 2K. And you can see it clearly right here. Besides the uh, occasional controller issues, and this is a demo, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, you can see that this is clearly a better game. And it has been for the past couple years. And that was the main reason why EA decided to uh, put the live series on the shelf for a little while. I don't think that it, if they come out with a game this season, it's going to be able to compete with NBA 2K. But I do like the fact that they're thinking about making a download only. If that's true, that would be uh, better because um, I would think that you would save on the cost of the game. I wouldn't imagine that it would be $60 if it's a download on the game. That $60 goes into a lot of actually printing out the disc and the uh, the the actual the what is it the instruction manuals and the uh the cover sleeve that goes on the game case itself and ea will save a lot of money by not doing that of course and the the series is just coming back it doesn't look that great it's already got stiff competition with nba 2k so it would make sense for ea to do something smart and just make it download only I'm not saying that's what they're going to do. Like I said, it's just a rumor. They could just fully produce that game and put it on the shelves. I don't, I, like I said, I don't think that that would be a smart move for EA. They're not going to beat 2K. That's not going to happen. This game is way too refined and it's way too, um, 
uh, they have so many details put into this game that I do not think EA has the resources or the developmental team to allow them to make a game that will effectively compete with NBA 2K. This game is uh, just, for me, from my point of view, from my perspective, playing this game casually, it is a very fun game to play. I can see myself playing this game. I just will see myself playing this game a lot because I'm not really into basketball games. Uh, I've always played football games. The reason why I don't play Madden now is because it sucks. And I really don't like the fact that EA is the only company that is allowed to make NFL games. I would more like to see a uh, 2K or another company come out with a game that doesn't feature NFL players. Uh, I know 2K had that uh, that game a few years ago where they had all of the Hall of Fame players in the game. That was cool. I really wish they would have kept with that. Uh you know refined it and made a game that could honestly compete with madden without the nba i mean not the nba the nfl license and they could definitely do that you could see just by this game nba 2k that they have the know-how and they have the resources available to make an effective sports game and they did it before in the past so um uh, one of the things that i read that about that NFL, well, not that, that what an NFL Legends game that 2K came out with is that the licensing fees and just paying for the, to get the players' names and likenesses in the game cost so much, but you don't have to do that. Allow people to just put a team, uh, like a league together, fake teams, or, or have somebody, have the player, give them the option of making their own team, and you can go from there. Backbreaker Football was another game that came out, and that game had a really good, um, engine the euphoria engine it needed to be tweaked a little bit but that is definitely a game that if worked properly it could be a problem for ea and madden which is holding on by a string and i mean ea in madden to me is like uh call of duty is it whereas they rehash the same game every year and it's getting to the point where people are like look this is getting ridiculous and we're not going to be playing it as much as we used to because it's essentially the same game over and over again. But the only way to do that, same as with Call of Duty, is you need to have games that really push the developers to do something about their uh, stale game. Refresh it, add more genuine new features. And um, it, with 2K and their putting together really good games, they could do that to uh, EA and make them make madden um good again but anyway this is about over we only get to play one quarter let me know if you get in this game and we'll talk about it i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more